It's great to be back. As a magician, you would expect me to be able to make objects materialize. And using sleight of hand, maybe show you something that looks impossible. But tonight, it's actually going to be our judges who are going to create the impossible for themselves using only their imagination to make it real. Simon, I've got a gift here for you, but you're not allowed to have this until the end. Judges, what I'd like you to do is imagine burning a deck of cards using a fire that only exists in your mind. And at the end, one of you is going to be able to imagine reaching in and saving just one card. But first, three decisions need to be made. David, yes. there are number cards and picture cards. Now, whatever you say, that's what will burn. So do you want to burn the numbers or burn the pictures? I'll burn the pictures. The pictures. Alicia, that's the jacks, queens and kings. Now to save some time, do you want to burn the male picture cards, the men, <laughs> or do you want to burn the female picture cards, the women? What do you think? It's your choice. <laughs> burn the men. The men. <laughs> no more jacks, no more kings. Amanda, that leaves just four cards. The queen of hearts, spades, clubs and the queen of diamonds. I like them all on fire and just like I told you, I want you to imagine reaching in and saving just one. Which queen do you choose to save? Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts. She saved. And you would think that all of this was just something in your imagination, but together, tonight, you've just made it a reality. Simon, please could you open that gift, hold up whatever's inside and show everyone. This book. One single burnt card. One card out of 52, the only card you were just imagining. If you can trust in your imagination, anything is possible, which is why tonight I wanted to try something a little bit bigger. Deck, thank you, sir, for helping. Pleasure. And it was Sam, right? They've both been told briefly what I want them to do. They're going to lie back and put their hands above their head. And guys, if you can just hold on to this wooden board for me. Perfect. I'm going to invite a friend of mine out here and we're actually going to lay her on that board. Sam Deck, I know this is going to feel difficult to begin with, but keep your arms locked and you will be able to hold her up. Okay, perfect. Keep supporting her because now we're going to remove the board. Deck, just let go of that board. Regrip. Have you got her? Yep. Okay. I'd like you to get used to the way that that feels because we're about to take this even further. Often life can look a little bit like this. We're all trying to hold someone or something up and it can be easy to doubt whether we'll ever be strong enough to keep going. But every time you tell yourself you can achieve something and learn to let go. You realize you never needed anyone else's help. You just have to be able to imagine that nothing is impossible. Get yeah, Sam, put your hands up, take her weight again. Okay. Of course, for me, this is where my journey began, on stage with a puzzle, knowing there were a million possibilities. And sometimes I still can't believe I'm here, but it's true. If you can believe anything is possible, your life really can change in one single moment. I'm Maddox Dixon. Good night.